Why, hello and good luck, Waggy. 187. Would you like to play or draw first, Waggy? Ah, you're playing first, I see. Probably appropriate. Um, oh, if I put it away a second. No problem. Um, question is, do I want a mole? I One land gets me my after the Beast. I do have kind of like that extra like 18th land in uh, the other guy. You know, this is slow enough format. Maybe it matters, and I have just a bunch of three drops. So, now nah, I'm gonna go to mole. I'm on the draw. This is actually even better, even though I, I need forest. But hey, I got a two-turn bubbling cauldron, and then uh, I'm sure I'll have the blood baron on turn three, so that should be okay. And hey, there we go. Turn two, turn three, and then assuming I get another land, there'll be some type of, uh... Ouch! Ding! Striking Sliver. Alright, Sacrifice deck. That's a good deck. Oh, we're gonna get the Mana Off Sliver on board first. Uh, definitely. Bowling Cauldron is just there for life gain value later on. Let my opponent, I don't know, ring flesh or something the Mana Off Sliver, but that's gonna happen. And if not, hopefully I get my Rumbling Bailiff on next turn. Ow! Another point of damage. It hurts. Ping. And a Blood Baron for my opponent as well. Mm -hmm. I think for now I'm fine with the race. A Cursed Spirit not going to be particularly amazing in this matchup, but for now we're cool. Block the striking sliver, let the blood burn get through, if that's the case. Um, do I like that? <sighs> what kind of pumps are there? Maybe a 3 out of 1 still keeps the striking sliver alive, a shock or something still allows me to live. Um, I can block here and 2 for 1 my opponent, which is what I'm going to do. I don't have removal, I just have a lot of creatures, so my creatures are my removal, so that's what's happening. It does allow my opponent to sacrifice, do a combat trick or something, um, but my opponent doesn't realize what my tech needs to do, so there you go. I don't have card advantage per se, so that's the only way I'm going to get card advantage. Ooh, Volcanic Geyser. That's good against me right now. I do have at least the Blood Baron back up. And another one, so, you know, we're just going to keep running them out here. Ooh, Marauding Mallhorn. Probably gonna have uh, the Death Gaze Cockatrice deal with that. I can play the Curse Spirit, but now I'll just have the Death Gaze Cockatrice uh, trade with the Marauding Mallhorn. Could block and sack and gain some life, but that seems like a waste of life, so yeah. As always, maximize the manas. And try to play a game where if my creatures can get can do the two for one or just the one for one, I might be able to get there. Seeing as I'll be drawing more creatures than my opponent, for the most part. Yep, and I will offer the trade. My opponent has what? Gigantor. Ooh, Shivan Dragon. All right, plummet. It's your turn. Well, that ain't it. Can I do... I can do Blood Baron and Bubbling Cauldron. Yeah, might as well. We'll get that Curse Spear online next. Yeah. Life gain can prove fairly relevant here. Not attacking, that's for sure. All right, so three turn clock. Let's do it. Where's my plummet? Now that I know Shivan Dragon exists, maybe want to hang on to my Death Gaze Cockatrice. Just kind of, sort of. Yep, can't do that yet.
Bubbling Cauldron does allow me to gain some life. And not that I want to just be throwing at creatures to gain a turn, but... So I'm at 9 right now. I'm going to go down to 1. Yep. 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 Now the question is, do I sacrifice a creature now to gain 4 and then 4? Uh, that gives me 8, 9. No, because I'm still dead on the crackback, so there's really no reason. Hey, Plummet. Top deck. Love it now. Um, well, gotta go for it, right? Yes, I top deck like a champ. Does Corrupt kill me? No, because I'll still have one life left. I forgot the bubbling cauldron festering newt combo. Duh. <laughs> I should keep festering newt in. Don't you think? One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Well, I want to play the spore mountain, but I can't afford to because I need to have bubbling cauldron up because my opponent's playing red and burn. So, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, plummet. Did I luck sack this win? Maybe. Intimidate. Mola, target opponent with his or her hand. You may choose a green or white creature card from it and exile that card. Okay. You get it. We attack in, we'll gain some life, play a spider. Um, I'm actually cool with them trading, in case there is some kind of weird thing to happen, since there's no need to do more. Yep, yeah, we're cool. Alright, yeah, plummet, yeah, plummet. How do I do a Shivan Dragon? Mayhaps a Windstorm. And not get rid of my accursed spirit or my Death Day's Cockatrice. Ah, uh, Can bring in this Festering Newt. Hmm. What's coming out? This Lay of the Land. Guardian of the Ages. I only have two flyers, right? The Death Gaze Cockatrice and the Singer Vampire. So Windstorm should be pretty fine. And if they're out, then I'm fine to have those against the Shivan Dragon. And then Giant Spiders will hopefully make dreams come true. Um, do I do I want the Festering Newt? Because I do have Bubbling Cauldron. I mean, it's pretty okay. I gotta take my, uh, my pieces while I can. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to it. I don't think Guard of the Ages is gonna get there quick enough. My opponent just has better things to do than I do with my mana, so. Alright, Waggy is playing first. I'm not going to mole. I don't have black, but I have some sweet reach and roaming Bailoth action, and uh, that is kind of going to be good against my opponent, so. We'll do that. And hey, even a Spore Mound. A little worried to be missing black. See how many black spells I have, but for now we're okay. Having a lot of things to do with my green mana for a number of turns, I'm not particularly stressed. Blood Baron. Alright, take some damage here. Would have liked this forest to have been a swamp to get the Corpse Holler on board, but oh well. Ooh, Mulhorn. 
Uh, hey, there we go. I'm um, definitely going to play that guy out. Question is, do I play the Bayloth here, take 5 next turn, I can hold back the Blood Baron? Um, or do I play the Giant Spider, which will also hold back the Blood Baron? But then if my opponent... Yeah, we're going to play the Giant Spider. I think. Because then I can play the other one next turn and then do a double block. Or do the Spore Mountain double block or something like that. Yeah. My opponent's a lot of pressure right now. Has to attack. Yep. Ouch. Five. Ooh, Cursed Spirit. My Corpse Holler will trade for that. Um, I think I just want my Spore Mound to trade with the Marauding Mulhorn. Yeah, uh, Spore Mound helps me get a little bit of value on some of my trades, but the alternative is I play, what, my Bayloth to trade off? And I think I actually prefer the 4-4 four -four over anything else. Yeah, so I'm still taking 3 next turn, but we just want to start stabilizing, right? I think that's wrong, though. We'll play in my swamp. Corpse Holler can share the Cursed Spirit, but I really don't want to go down to uh, 8. So there's a Shiv and Dragon coming later. I need to start trading off creatures, so that's kind of key. So basically, I get, I get to only play one creature. Which one do I want to trade off? Spore Mound, I was thinking about it, but I do think Spore Mound with my lands is going to be much more relevant. So I think I have to hang on to it. That means I'm playing next turn. I'm still, that means I'm taking 6 from a Cursed Spirit. Ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, we gotta do the Spore Mound here. I wanted to trade with the uh, Marauding Mulhorn, and uh, then next turn I can do the Bailout and the Corpse Holler to start uh, holding some other dudes back. So that's what's gotta happen. Volcanic Geyser? Ouch. What's gonna happen? Or Quag Cygnus? Yep. I assume Bastion for 8 here. Ooh, and a Camera that's pretty good. So does my opponent want to trade the, uh, the Camera for that? I wouldn't. Um, yep, we're taking 8. Not a lot of fun. Uh, but we do have that play, as decided earlier. Play this guy. Play this guy, pass the turn. No attacks. And then we'll just be trading off as many creatures as we can. Way behind, but such is life. Dragon Egg, okay. Make it very hard to ever attack my opponent, which is kind of how I need to win. Um, hopefully my opponent will sacrifice a Dragon Egg to the Blood Baron here to uh, trade off the Giant Spider, but I have to block because I can't block the Kennedy Raider. These guys will hopefully do some trades. That'll be nice. If I was my opponent, yeah, I would not attack with a Cursed Spirit. Okay, so there's that. You're blocking. Bayloth blocks Malhorn. Can't block a Kennedy Raider, take one. That means I have to block the Blood Baron, otherwise I'm dead. Um, corpse heal all or has to stick around for the curse spirit because I don't have another uh, blue card and therefore yeah have to do this probably is just going to get the dragon egg but I do have the plummet to uh, back me up here tough spot tough spot that's how it's going to go ouch I should totally be f6 here my opponent gets to start shifting around. If I can magically stabilize, I'll be in a good spot. Hmm.
definitely plummeting the dragon now. So let's do that. Let's see, let's see. Giant spider or advocate of the beast? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ho. So would have loved to have this earlier with my rumbling Bayloth. All right, so corpse hauler has to trade with a cursed spirit. Otherwise I'm dead, because I take one from there. I need something to block the blood baron. So it's just gonna have to trade. I'd rather keep the giant spider alive in the following turns. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any reason not to play Plummet against a dragon right now, and there isn't in my opponent's colors that I can think of, because I can cast it in response. Oh, shoot. Yep, just thought of it. Um, because my opponent can sacrifice it to the Blood Baron, of course. Mind Rot. Okay. Uh, I, I anticipated Mind Rot, um, but now my opponent gets the free pump, which kills the Advocate. I just assumed that was happening anyway, and that's a bad idea. Oh, gained life, or drew a card instead. It's actually okay. Still not great for me, but still okay. Because now my opponent, uh, interesting, played the mountain. Must have Shiv and Dragon in hand or something, because I don't know why you want to just discard that to Academy Raiders. But not my deal, as it were. I guess I should have six. My opponent knows I can't do anything. And this is looking to go to a game three. Hey, more do nothings. If I had another black creature out, I would... Well, in that case, I am going to go ahead and uh, sacrifice. Get my rumbling Bayloth back. I mean, I'm dead here, so whatever. But my opponent doesn't know that. Or does my opponent? Probably my opponent doesn't even care. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Okay, okay. Was anything about having something else online here? I have the Festering Newt now. What was I thinking about bringing in? I don't want the Guardian. I really don't. I do need to maintain my strategy of trading my creatures as early as possible with my opponents, because I'll be drawing more creatures than my opponent will be. I'm going to keep the same way. Right here. Would I like to play first? Yes. Yes, I would. We're keeping. We should have a good hand here with the Blood Baron and the Rumbling Bayloth, so no thanks. And the Windstorm for backup against some dragon action. All right. Sadly, Wally is mulling down to five, and that is never bueno in a in a game three match. But let us Wally know you still have a pretty good chance, Wally, of taking out this deck. This deck is not particularly awesome here. Young Pyromancer. That's a good card. Again, I will happily trade these two. See if my opponent feels the same way. Yep, definitely trading. Snap trading. Woohoo! Um, play Roman Bayloth. Wally stuck on two lands? Yeah. That's gonna be a bummer. Yep. 
I'm just going to add the pressure to the board. Curse Spirit isn't great on any of our decks. We're both playing black, so it's fine. But having 8 power coming through, if my opponent's stuck on land again, will be very good. Yeah, and we're just going to start punishing for that, uh, for the mole. And because of Windstorm, I definitely want to continue the beats, even though, you know, one of my opponent's outs can be a removal spell or something. So I want to keep a, another creature online. Yep. And that's just a bummer. That's such a lame way to go on a mold of five. So my opponent uh, probably should have won that. But I'm not complaining. I'm happy to get into the next round. I was surprised to get past... Oh, uh, that first game. So cool. Here we go, round two. See you then.